Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this afternoon on Sunday, September 24th for a movie review. This is another movie review I got to check out for myself to see what I was going to think of this movie. Which, I think you know what movie this finally is. The Barbie 2023 film with Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, and Will Ferrell and America Ferrara. Uh, I believe are in this movie, so it's a pretty solid cast in this film. So pretty much I'm going to discuss what I'm going to be talking about in this movie review on what I watched for the hour and 54 minutes of this movie. I'll let you know my thoughts on this movie overall, so let's dive into this movie review. Now basically, Margot Robbie, it's, I believe, the first five to ten minutes of the movie or somewhere around then was the cringiest part of the first day in Barbie land, I guess. That was probably the weakest part, the very beginning of the movie. But then it, the story, most of all, in the premise, is just Margot Robbie playing as Barbie, and uh, eventually uh, she has questions like, oh, uh, how do you guys feel about death or whatever? Uh, something about dying or whatever she mentions and then everyone looks at her like well, what is she talking about <laughs> so the next day she starts having uh, like human emotions and feelings and it just she starts to doubt herself like she can't do all these things that she did the first day on Barbie land where she magically flew off of glided off the top of her house or whatever, so, yeah, and then they go to the real world after that, um, after she sees the weird Barbie, Kate McKinnon's character, and she starts to figure out who she really is, and what she wants to do for her life, mostly, Barbie, I mean, so, basically, the overall movie, it was a good movie, um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite movie this year, um, but it did surprise me. Uh, the ending had some emotional points at the end of the movie, where she's just trying to figure out what she wants to do, and if she wants to stay in Barbie land or live in the real world. But I don't want to spoil too much on that aspect of it, it's just... It's a self-discovery kind of movie for Margot Robbie's character, Barbie. So, and Ken, like, after Ken visits the real world with Barbie, and then she punches that dude in the face, and they go to prison. Then they do something else to go to prison again. <laughs> so, basically, uh, with what I experienced with this film, I was actually impressed um, with the final product of the film. Um, basically, Ken tries to re-image Barbie Land into Ken Land, or Ken something, I can't remember the name of it, but Ryan Gosling's performance was pretty good as uh, Ken, and I was actually pretty impressed with Margot Robbie's performance too. Like, it did seem cringy at the beginning of it, like, oh, uh, this... You, like, you think that's going to be the whole movie, but when you really watch it, it's a more-than-you-think kind of movie. There's a lot more that happens in this movie than you think. So, like, Barbie starts feeling human emotions and is trying to figure out what she's going to do and how to fix what's happening to her, and it's happening to the person that... Uh, in the real world that's feeling these emotions and she's feeling the same way too so it's kind of like some kind of synchronized connection of emotions and all that so pretty much the movie did have a different story than I thought I thought it was going to be a cringy story and I was going to like hate it but I actually liked the movie surprisingly it's a good movie I'm very shocked that I'm reviewing a Barbie movie for you guys that I actually enjoyed. 
for the live action adaptation overall Barbie the 2023 film is a good film um, would I say it's my favorite film this year not really but it had an interesting story and it's surprisingly good um, I just was more invested in the story than in the cringy moments like I said the cringy moments are going to be the decline to the movie's rating. But the rest of the movie, like, sold me, like, wow, this is a pretty powerful and emotional movie. And then when you get to the ending of the movie, they play the Nicki Minaj theme song in the credits, and that's the worst fucking track I've listened to for that movie. Uh, but I think the Billie Eilish song was better. Uh, so... In my opinion, for a score for me, I'm giving Barbie, the 2023 film, an 8 out of 10. Good film. I was actually surprised. I really thought I wasn't going to like this movie because of how cringy and how thrown offish the title of it sounds. The beginning, like I said, is the cringiest part of the film. There are a few cringy moments during the rest of the film, but I think the story takes off a lot more in the middle towards the end and it really impressed me so 8 out of 10 for the Barbie 2023 film thank you for watching this movie review